this sultry night in the deserts of Egypt, a sinister wind blows. The ancient pyramids, symbols of a shining past, now sit by a new pyramid, symbol of a dark future. Your Majesty, everything is going according to plan. The world believes I discovered the remains of the creature who took Cleopatra's life. Now they will believe I have discovered the ancient queen's true descendant and rightful heir. <laughs> and when they realize it's you, they're going to love you all over again. As I do. I love you, 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 I love you. They're gonna love me all right. Ooh, I'm gonna knock them dead. Spy Groove, file number Pancake Special 9, Horizontal Omega 7, codename Queen of Denial. The Maxi Bar, an over-the-top personality parlor, hard to find, and even harder to get into. Agent number one and agent number two fill out the agency's new death and dismemberment insurance policy for high-risk, undercover employees. Yeah, next question. Uh, do you willfully place yourself in potentially dangerous situations? <laughs> yeah, that's our job. Okay, next question. Fill in the blank. Yeah? To me, a black widow spider is A, a lovely pet. Yeah? B, a curious toy. Yeah? C, an example of a potentially dangerous situation that should be avoided. Okay, I don't want to do this. Why? It's forcing me to think. Explain. It's like when you're standing on a cliff. If you start thinking about falling, next thing you know, you're obsessed with falling. That's vertigo. No, that's thinking. And in situations like that, thinking can send you plummeting to your death. So, thinking puts you in danger? Yes. You're an insane person. Hey, boys. Hey, hey Mac. Mac. The agents are joined by Mac, a down-and-dirty debutante on a decadent detour. Tough night. Weird night. I think I just saw Shania Twain and Mariah Carey doing jello shots out of Cher's belly button. Mm. At least I hope it was Cher's belly button. Uh. The usual? Anything that doesn't involve using Cher as a shot glass. Ditto. Okay, two shots. Hold Cher. The agents receive an IntelliJet conference signal on their combination DVD-123 micro laptop. It's Helena Troy. Espionage diva extraordinaire. We're not done with the new insurance policies, boss. Well, you better hurry. Your next mission could be downright deadly. I'm faxing you an anonymous tip that I need your boys to check out. Anonymous tip? It has something to do with the pricey A-list benefit in Egypt tomorrow night. Who's throwing the party? Diggs Biggerton. You mean the Brainiac slash Bone Hunter? The DNA expert slash Archaeogenesis. Whatever. The Brit slash guy who dug up the snake that killed Cleopatra. He now claims to have linked blood from the tooth of that snake to the only living descendant of Cleopatra. So, what's the assignment? Biggerton's using this benefit as a splashy PR extravaganza to reveal his neo-Cleo to the public. With the anonymous tip, I received two $50,000 Ultra VIP tickets. Oh, someone really wants us at that party. So, what's the assignment? The assignment is to make an appearance at the most exclusive party in the world tonight. We're live from the most exclusive party in the world tonight. I'm here on the red carpet in my new Dolce & Gabbana gown while you sit at home in the underpants you wrestle from an old lady doing a Kmart blue light special. Am I wrong? Ah, you poor slob. Mom! I know. Jonah is here with Alyssa Milano and Jack Eston. Mom, it's your daughter, Melissa. You? Oh. This is Diggs Biggerton, the DNA genius. Gina Davis! Where is that bitch? <sighs> Big night, huh, Mr. Briggerton? Yes, it is, Alyssa. It's Melissa. Oh, well, yes, it is. Not, not only do we find out who's our new queen of the Nile, but all the proceeds of tonight's event will benefit my latest project. Which is? Oh, yet to be revealed, darling. Yet to be revealed. Hey. You know, this whole thing could be a setup. Hi! Hey! How are you? Angelina. No, it's not a setup. Huh? Anonymous tip, mysterious tickets, nothing to go on. I'm just saying, something to think about. Hey, how are you? Hi. No, it's something we shouldn't think about. May I have attention, please? Now, we all know why we're here, don't we? Yes, we do. Because a tiny speck of blood from the tooth of this mummified snake has provided us with the only living descendant of Cleopatra. Ladies and gentlemen... The heir to the Nile is... Hold on to your drinks. Disco diva, champagne du jour! Champagne du jour? Oh, she's old. I do it. The new queen of the Nile is a 70s disco star. <laughs> champagne du jour. Who? Exactly.
exactly. Shout. Well, so was I. When I was flipping channels trying to find my ex-lover Rick James on VH1's Behind the Music and accidentally landed on the Discovery Channel. There's Mr. Bigerton holding that mummy snake and talking right to me through that TV. I called him up and said, tell my ancient secret to the world. Tell them that I, Champagne du Jour, am queen of the Nile. That's right. And in 24 hours, Egypt's Minister of Sand is going to sign an oil over to Champagne as a symbolic gesture of respect. Just oh, wow. I give her more. I love you. I love you too, baby. I remember you. Thank you. It's good to be back in the spotlight. Oh. <laughs> Could this be any weirder? Beware. <coughs> Mongoose number one. And mongoose number two must be unaffected by the cobra's jive hassle. Or they shall lie beneath the sand for all time. What? Who are you? Call me <coughs> Old Giza. I'll do it. That just got weirder. Well, if it isn't the famous agent number one and agent number two, I'm so honored to have such famous spies at my coming out party. You know us? Not as well as I'd like to. Join me for a drink in my private lounge. Back at a bar. Five minutes. Are you thinking what I, you know, I'm just noticing that, you know... Yeah, I know. There's no one here. Don't say it. Okay. Okay, see, it doesn't even matter if you say it or not. You think it's a setup, I'm thinking it's a setup, and that's not good. Just don't think about it. It's too late. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, boys, this champagne goes right to your head. <laughs> Diggs. Yes? Feed this crocodile child to my future luggage. Spy Groove, file number Pancake Special 9, Horizontal Omega 7, Part 2. Our agents, suffering from a champagne hangover, sink into the Nile, where they are gently nudged awake by crocodiles. Tell me that those crocodiles were dangerous only because we thought they were dangerous. Look, I'm just saying, we were talking about danger, we were thinking all about danger. Suddenly, what do you know? Look, we're in the water. Look, what? Old Giza. Don't change the subject. No, Old Giza. Are you all right? Greetings. Brave mongooses. I'll do it. Why don't you sit down? Uh, you don't look so good. The metal snake sucks at the veins of Egypt's blood. Okay. Yeah. We have to get him to shore. Yes. Weird. Weird. A metal snake? The blood of Egypt? Suddenly I'm thinking, could the blood of Egypt be the Nile? The agents shoot into the Nile wearing reinforced microfiber scuba apparel. Available in cool brand and stealth charcoal gray. So what was that? A massive industrial plumbing drain. A massive industrial plumbing drain? Yes, a massive industrial plumbing drain. Activate satellite surveillance. Egypt. Sahara. Infrared imaging. The pipe heads west. Let's move. You know what? 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 I think we're heading into a potentially dangerous situation. Um, I thought you didn't like to think about stuff like that. Well, I don't. But I'm thirsty, we're in the middle of nowhere, and vultures are circling us. Stop thinking. Okay. I can't. All right. Then uh, think about... Uh... I can't think of anything. We have to think. I want to think. No. I need to think. No! We have to not think. We have to go. No, I'm hallucinating. Ah, excellent. I'm going to enter your hallucination and order a tall glass of water. <sighs> I'm so bloated. Can okay, we have to figure this out? What would Biggerton's archaeological foundation be doing with water from the Nile? Let's ask him. He's sitting right over there. Yes, dear. No, dear. I know the Minister of Sand is arriving tomorrow. 
All right, then I'll come right back and test it. And darling, I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> She cut me off. Yo, who's bitch are you? What is Diggs testing? I found her on karaoke night in the Cairo Ramada Inn. She was singing a hit song, Pop My Cork. We locked eyes, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, she's draining my soul. Soon, she'll drain all of Egypt. Listen to me, bro. No booty is worth that much. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Come on. Using tow cables from the Kenneth Cole Spywatch Collection, the agents hitch a ride. Okay, what's wrong with this picture? Besides the fact that Champagne has her own personalized archaeological dig? In her own backyard. Yeah. 1,000 cases of crystal. Check. What about the horse and swimwear? Not here yet. Ugh, this country. All right, let's run our first test. Everyone clear? And pull the lever. Pull the lever. Pull the lever. Pull the lever. Disco water park. Okay, so... Diggs Bickerton's archaeological pipeline is pumping Nile water into Champagne du Jour's secret disco water park. I'm calling Helena. Excuse me, Senator. What's up, boys? We need to stop the Minister of Sand from signing the Nile over to Champagne du Jour. It's urgent. I'm on it. I hope you know what you're up against. Champagne's invited half the music industry to witness that signing. Hmm. Mm, I told you. No matter how fancy the party is, they always have pigs in a blanket. Carlo, get my Humvee. Well, stop. What do you think's going on? Whatever's going on, Champagne's behind it. I'll tell you what I'm behind. Your asses. And I like what I see. No, we don't like what we've just seen. Oh, really? And what's that? Your Nile-draining, self-glorifying, ego-tripping water park. It's my ticket back, baby. I'm gonna be a star again. An Egypt's gonna help me get there. Using donations from an archaeological foundation to dig up your career is a crime. Anything involving disco is a crime. The only crime is that I've been off the charts for too long. Fit these two with a couple of them tight little slave thongs and a disco ball and chain. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I hope not. Spy Group. File number Pancake Special 9. Horizontal Omega 7. Part 3. Deep in the Sahara, slave number one and slave number two grunt and sweat under the strain of Champagne du Jour's evil eye. I don't see Britney Spears riding a sphinx. No, I don't. Look, we're wasting time. One. Brave, two-headed mongoose. Good. Two separate brave mongooses. Better. Now, thank you. <coughs> I think he means that we should divide and conquer. Good idea. I'll work on digs. And I'll find out what's really in that snake coffin she never puts down. How are you going to do that? Not think about it. Just wanted to see the view. It's Egypt. There is no view. Oh, there's a view, all right. I've always been a fan of pyramids. Honey, you're looking at the eighth and ninth wonders of the world. Really? I can show you the tenth. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, it's getting hot up here. Oh, back off my sphinx. We're going back to the palace. I'm going to have you washed up and brought to my throne room. <laughs> what are you doing, my love? I'm going back to my pad. With him? Stop. Sweat me, Diggs. You gotta get that crocodile flume ride ready in time for my guests. You look like you could use a drink.
to the bad side. It's good, ain't it? Leave us. <laughs> that means you too. So, what do you think? Well, I was expecting something a little more 70s retro. <laughs> Look, I may have been unearthed by some archaeologists, but my career is going to be brand spanking new. Does that fabulous water park have anything to do with it? You bet you're pretty little behind it does. Tonight I've invited... Half the music industry. Mm, from Lauren Hill all the way down to Courtney Love. And when the Minister of Sand has signed the Nile over to me, Diggs will pull the lever, releasing the full force of the Nile. Instantly drowning Billboard's top 40. In one fell swoop. So that's where Diggs comes in. And that's where he exits. I see. He designed it. He built it. It's all his fault. Right. He goes to jail and I go to the Grammys. Because the competition's all washed up. Literally. Why are you telling me this? Because you've impressed me. You worked your way up from international spy to my personal sex slave. And you look damn good in a loincloth. I'm a slave to fashion. <gasps> How'd you like to replace Diggs as my new manager? I'll need to fill that position in about, oh, 15 minutes. Now, where do I sign? Ooh, let me get some champagne and a pin. If you've never done it, signing contracts is killer foreplay. <laughs> Next thing I know, it's on the cover of the New York Times. DNA expert proves Cleopatra's living air. And no one even questioned it. Why should anyone question it? No one ever questions a brainiac. <laughs> I know what you mean. Except another brainiac. What do you know? Not much. Just one little mistake you made. What mistake? I did everything right. I took Champagne's DNA and through a secret customized process aged it to match ancient Egyptian DNA. Ah, counterfeit genetics. <laughs> counterfeit I like to call it flawless genetic forgery. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a crime. <laughs> and I'm a spy. You're a spy. <laughs> oh, my God. What have I done? Could you please forget everything I just said? Why did you do it, Diggs? Because I love her. That was your mistake. All right, sign this quick. I need to get down to some real business, if you know what I'm talking about. Your Highness, your guests are arriving. I'll be right there. My victims, I mean, I, I mean my guests are arriving. Why don't you wait up here where it's safe? We're gonna turn the Nile into Lake Champagne. Then it'll just be you and me. And the music. Ooh, you are my new treasure. I'm gonna keep you under lock and key. Dig, honey. Do Shepherd's a biggie and stand by to drain the Nile. Yes, my sweet. I love you. I love you. I love... I hate it when she does that. Think about it. You've involved yourself with a psychopathic disco diva who's going to suck the Nile dry and destroy the music industry. All to guarantee her comeback. Mm, I never thought about it that way. Do yourself a biggie, Diggs, and think about it that way. Okay, this is it. Everyone, stand up straight. Look important. Smile. Don't do nothing nasty. Your minister -ness -ness. <clears throat> We're so happy you dropped by. It's a great honor. Now, where's my D? She's a phony! Oh, she's a Tell them, Diggs. I faked all the DNA because I loved her. <gasps> These are just a pack of sandy-ass Bedouins. I'm queen of the Nile. No, she isn't. This snake is, oh, my God, vertigo. Stop thinking! <laughs> Excellent. I'm never thinking again. This mummified snake is about as Egyptian as Jackie Chan. It's a Chinese secret, huh? Give me my deed! I'm not a fake! Well, I am. The Minister of Sand is actually head honcho in a poncho, Helena Troy. Does this mean you don't have my deed? Not a chance, girlfriend. Guards, seize them all! Slaves, seize the guards! There's no way out, Champagne. Give it up. Okay. You got me. Damn. We lost her. She wants the Nile. Let's give it to her. Pull the lever! Pull the lever! Pull the lever! Pull the lever! Here 
who'd like to thank you. The man who brought you here. The real Minister of Sand. Eldred. Old Giza. Yes. <coughs> I am one of the same brave mongooses. Well done, my friends. Well done. Now, where are those insurance policies? Oh, uh, we don't need them. Didn't you boys almost get eaten by crocodiles and nearly die in the desert? Uh, well, we were never really in danger. Oh, no? What would it take? He doesn't like to think about it. Think about what? Danger. I can hear you talking about it. I, well, you <laughs> we can say it out loud. But, yeah, I don't but like he doesn't to like to think about danger. He has a problem when he thinks. I, I realize I have a problem with danger. You know what I'm saying? Danger? Yeah. Well, saying it. You like, work danger. Your I work know. is danger. Right, exactly. I mean, what? But I can't think about it. See, it's the thinking thing. Can you not think? I, I'd rather not. Think about getting me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> there must be a bar somewhere in this thing. <laughs> where are we going? Does anyone know where we're going? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Hey, what about that place? Oh, the dry hump. Huh?